It's been more than 10 years since Spain reached the pinnacle of European football with their golden generation and their mesmerizing tiki-taka style of play. However, it has also been over a decade since La Roja has been able to recapture their former glory. Throughout these years, Spain has undergone numerous changes in personnel and tactical approaches. The departure of stalwarts like Xavi, Iniesta, and David Villa left a significant void in Spain's attacking line. The search for new talents capable of inheriting and building on the legacy of the golden generation has been challenging. Nevertheless, with an excellent youth training system and a sensible team-building strategy under various coaches, Spain has gradually regained their form and strength in recent times. Heading into Euro 2024, coach Luis de la Fuente has a squad of young, talented, and promising players at his disposal. The players of La Roja not only possess excellent individual skills, but also demonstrate good cohesion and team play. Names like Nico Williams, Mikel Marino, and Lamine Yamal have been making their mark at top clubs, and Euro 2024 will be the moment for Spain to showcase them to the world. In addition to having many talented players, the Spanish squad for this Euro also boasts a balanced depth across all positions, especially in the attacking line, with many players in top form at their respective clubs. The friendly match against Andorra in preparation for the continent's biggest tournament somewhat showcased the formidable strength of the Spanish team. Facing an opponent ranked nearly 160 places lower in the FIFA rankings, it was no surprise that Spain dominated and controlled the game from the start. Spain's superiority was evident in the 24th minute when Ayosi Perez scored the opening goal with a neat finish inside the box. However, Missing several chances and a bit of bad luck prevented coach Luis de la Fuente's team from increasing their lead in the first half. It wasn't until the second half that Spain truly exploded when coach de la Fuente made adjustments to the attacking line. Lamina Yamal doubled the lead in the 53rd minute thanks to substitute Oyarzabal. Oyarzabal continued to shine, scoring two more goals to complete his hat trick in the 66th and 73rd minutes before Ferran Torres sealed the 5-0 victory for Spain. This win provided the Spanish team with a perfect psychological boost ahead of Euro 2024. Meanwhile, coach Luis de la Fuente is experiencing a pleasant headache with numerous choices for La Roja's attacking positions. Deciding on the starting players for the three highest positions in the formation will undoubtedly be a challenging task for the Spanish strategist. One of the brightest candidates for these positions is Oyarzabal who just scored his first hat-trick for the national team. Oyarzabal is no stranger to Spanish fans, having been part of Luis Enrique's squad at Euro 2020 and playing a key role in helping La Roja reach the semi-finals, where they were narrowly defeated by Italy. He also impressed at the 2020 Olympics under De La Fuente's guidance. At the club level, Oyarzabal has been in outstanding form, serving as the captain and leading figure for Real Sociedad with 14 goals and three assists in 44 appearances across all competitions this season. His impressive performances have earned him praise from both experts and fans. With his powerful left foot and dedicated contributions, Oyarzabal is likened to a Sociedad version of Messi by Sociedad fans. In addition to Oyarzabal, Spain's squad also features many other impressive names, such as Ayosi Perez, and Ferran Torres, both of whom scored in last night's match. Ayosi Perez has returned to the national team after a long absence. He had a tough time at Premier League clubs Newcastle and Leicester before joining Real Betis, where he rediscovered his form. Ayosi Perez is a winger with direct play, good technique, and dribbling skills, often capable of changing the course of a match as a substitute. While Ayosi Perez has only recently been recalled to the national team, Ferran Torres is a regular. Despite not having a standout season at Barcelona, the 24-year-old has earned coach Luis de la Fuente's trust with a ticket to Germany this summer. Torres delivered a performance highly praised by experts against Andorra, playing the full 90 minutes and scoring a goal. His energetic play and intelligent positioning make him a constant threat to the opposing defense, 
Torres' work ethic and attitude are also commendable. Despite limited playing time recently, he has remained diligent in training and always gives his best when given the opportunity. This trait will be crucial, especially with many young talents in the current Spanish squad, making Torres an ideal role model for perseverance and dedication. Alvaro Morata, another key player, also started in that match. However, the 31-year-old was unable to score even though he had one goal disallowed. Morata's experience and participation in high-stakes matches are likely the main reasons why coach Luis de la Fuente included him in the Euro squad. Although he may not always be consistent, Morata is a player for decisive moments. Football fans will remember the Euro 2020 semi-final between Italy and Spain, where Morata came on and changed the game with a single touch, scoring an equalizer. Although his goal didn't ultimately take Spain to the final, it underscored Morata's class and importance in the national team. In this morning's friendly promising young wingers Nico Williams and Lamin Yamal were not yet utilized by coach De La Fuente. Both have had impressive seasons at their respective clubs. Nico Williams was voted Athletic Bilbao's best player of the season by fans, while Lamin Yamal had a sensational debut season with Barcelona. For Nico Williams, his experience at the 2022 World Cup is a valuable asset as he heads into his first European Championship. For Lamine Yamal, participating in Euro 2024 is a significant opportunity to introduce himself to the world and prove his talent is not overrated. Both players are likely to be key strategic assets for coach De La Fuente in the tournament, potentially forming a new dynamic duo. Lastly, I must mention Champions League winner Joselu. He has not yet been registered to play as he is still recovering from the final at Wembley. Joselu's class and form were evident during his recent stint with Los Blancos. His agility, cleverness, and knack for seizing opportunities make the 33-year-old a constant threat to any defense. With the champion's DNA from winning the Champions League with Real Madrid, Spanish fans hope Joselu can bring that winning mentality from the Bernabeu to Germany this summer. Spain is bringing a highly skilled attacking lineup to Euro 2024, presenting coach De La Fuente with the pleasant headache of deciding who will play. All the mentioned players are quality options capable of playing multiple positions. It has been 12 years since Spain last triumphed in a major tournament, and as the saying goes, the glory we wait for is the ultimate happiness. If Spain wins Euro 2020, it will be a well-deserved reward for what La Roja has built over the years.